Last week on Ensure My Rides, the ultimate rider. Our only female in the group, Sophie, crumbled on the dirt. And quiet country boy, Braden announced himself as the one to beat. He now holds top spot and has his sights firmly set on the $20,000 prize money. Good morning, rookies. Morning. 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 Before we get into the points challenge this afternoon, you guys get a chance for the ultimate one-on-one -on -one skill session. And yep, Daryl's in his leathers. They still do fit. <laughs> <laughs> Today's skill session is about starts. It's nothing worse than putting all that hard work into qualifying and blowing it on race day. You'll race each other with the winner going on to race one of the greats. You get to race Daryl. And who knows, you can even beat him. Not a chance. <laughs> we'll see. Everyone, welcome. I keep things pretty simple, and I think all starts should be very, very simple. As soon as the flag waves, I go into gear, both feet on the ground for balance, and as soon as I do that, I take up a little bit of drag on the clutch so I feel it wanting to bite, and just come off that so you don't creep. And it's that balance of throttle and clutch control and one easy movement all the way out with the clutch. That's a good start. It's time for the rookies to take what they've learnt and put it into practice against each other. First up, the two big talkers, Aaron and Jake. Sideline bet. Aaron. Jake. Jake. Aaron. Aaron. I'm going to go for Aaron because he's going to try second gear and I don't think it's going to work. I just wanted to start in second, so I didn't have to change. That's what I do in dirt bikes. Didn't work this time. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. Next up, how polite will Sophie be when she takes on Ben? Who's going to win? Look, I'm just going to go with Ben for this one, ben. I think. I'm going to go so, so. Yeah, and I'm going to stick with Benry. Ben? Yeah, Ben. I'm going to go so. Yeah. Three Ben, two Sophie. Sophie Lummer, that is one of the best I've seen. <laughs> the final pairing sees the serious Matt up against nice guy Brayden. Oh, no, I'm going Brayden. Brayden. Brayden, Sophie. Uh, Brayden. Brayden. Ben. Matty. Matty will smash him. Oh, who was it? Matty? OK, we got to the pointy end of the start challenge. Matt, so far, has done the fastest time. So you're through to the final. We've got Aaron and Sophie to face off now. The winner of those two is up against Matt. Don't stall it. Let's go. Right, make sure you hit that new cheer, all right? <laughs> Braden, who are you with? I reckon Sophie's got it all over. Sophie again. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have to say so. 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 Ooh. <laughs> ben. I'm going to have to say so. Five for Sophie. Sorry, Aaron. Did you get it? Oh, I think Aaron got it, did he? Big talker Aaron gets the win and takes on Matt for the chance to race Daryl. One, two, three, four, five. All wrong. <laughs> the win. 
I am feeling confident. When there's a job to be done, I get pretty serious. My career started pretty much through my uncle, Troy Bayless. He's won three world championships, won MotoGP races, and uh, he's done a lot for me. So definitely have a bit of confidence, but you know, there's no need to boast because it can all come crashing down quite rapidly. If that happens, you definitely look like a bit of a goose. Okay, all right, I better get ready. Next, can the rookie beat the legend? I hope the pressure gets to him and he has a little fluff. And later, you could be riding away on your own Honda CBR500R. OK, this is a big one. Congratulations. Thanks. You and I in the challenge. OK, what's your tips? You can, I, I won't have bad feelings. Yeah, yeah, the old bloke's got it. Old bloke? <laughs> I'm going for Matt. All right. Yeah, I'm going for Matt because he's okay. lighter. Matty B. OK. All right, it's pretty even. Let's go. At the ultimate rider racetrack in country Victoria, Matt Berry is about to take on mentor and legend Daryl Beatty. I hope the pressure gets to him and he has a little fluff. Let's go, Matty. Let's go. Let's go, Matty. Red flags up. Come on, Matty. Jobbed him. Easy. Smashed him. Oh. Easy job. The apprentice has beaten the master. Good job, oh. Matty. <laughs> Legend. Daz, I had my money on you. Oh, I'm sorry, Sophie. Good you job. Any time, Good job. You never want to lose. But he won fair and square. And I think it's really nice. Yeah, I can definitely see the headline being Berry Beats Beatty. Good challenge. Good fun. Good fun. Yeah. Well, it's time to put what you learnt in this morning's skill session into practice. And I think we can all agree that Matt's going to be the one to watch. Wouldn't you agree, Dara? I would, Clara. Matt doesn't need a mentor anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, guys, those all-important points are now back up for grabs. Today's challenge is Jim Carner. Similar to week one's Motor Carner course, Jim Carner will require special slow riding skills. But to spice things up a little bit, today's weapon of choice is the Honda CRF 450R. Mm, well, good luck, guys. Looks like you're going to need it. In the Jim Carner Challenge, riders leave the starting gate and head into a right turn before a tight chicane. Around the open track and then back to the cones, remembering penalties apply for dropped cones. Navigate the keyhole, then out into the left-right turns. Finally, a stop box, where the rookies cannot put their feet down or again, they will incur a penalty. First up, Braden Elliott. I'm currently 18 years old from a small town of Tumut, New South Wales. I've been riding since I was four years old. I've always been told not to wear green. Um, on one occasion, I wore green socks. It didn't end too well. I ended up getting helicoptered out of a track in a coma for about a week. Now, sort of the stage I'm at, I can't afford to go out there thinking about a crash or anything. I just need to be sort of mentally switched on, know what I've got to do and get out there and do it. Braden's on 10 points. He leads right now on the ultimate rider. Oh, beautiful! Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah! That's what we wanted. That is awesome. Oh, he's up! Oh. He's up. Hey, the bike's still running. The bike's still running. Get it out, son. Keep going. Come on, get in it. What he did then, what caught him out, he had it on his side and his knee slider yeah. went around and the leather grabbed. And I the leather did. grabbed oh. and pulled his leg back and it made him oh, So pretty, but what a oh. talent. That's special. Oh, come on, son. He'd be flustered right now. Yeah. 
But, but he, you know, to do this, he's got calmed up to do this. I like this kid. And that's not easy. Now stop. Go, go, son, go. Ah, up the cone over. On the knee. Oh! For great action from the show, thanks to Ensure My Ride, why not head to the website where you can check out our rider profiles, extra behind the scenes action, or our exclusive rider tips from Bernie Hatton at the Online Rider School. Plus check out Daryl Beattie on board the 2013 Honda CBR500R, which is up for grabs. Plus how to score your very own team shirt from the Ultimate Rider. It's all thanks to insuremyride.com.au. Stop. Go, go, son, go. Uh, knock the cone over. On the knee. Oh! Oh, big one. Big crash. Big he crash. It in. Young gun Braden Elliott has crashed twice so far on the Jim Carner course. Before the challenge can continue, the bike needs to be checked. And Braden is with the on-track paramedic. They just wanted me to come get checked out, so that's all oh, probably just my pride more than anything. Um, yeah, and no, I'm just disappointed in myself. Physically, like, I'm fine. Braden's knee grabbed the tarmac and then that pulled him down, which then put fluid on the circuit. So then when he got up and come back through again, he slipped on his own fluid on the circuit. He could be 20 time world champion, he's gonna crash on fluid every time. Braden has received a DNF in the Jim Carner. An elimination tonight could spell the end for him. The intense Matt Berry, first up after the delay. I'd just like to get the show back on the road and, uh, and yeah, it should be all good. This is for Matt to get right back into it. Our favourite part of the track, mate. That's nice. That's and this nice is his and part tight, here. Nice this tight stuff's him. Yeah. Yes! Slow section now. This is the hard one. He goes, he goes to the left. Yeah. Nice, balance. very nice, lovely yeah. balance there. Oh, look at that, little slide into flicking it around. And then again, and again, and great. And that's really good control. Yeah. Stops it. Ah, well done. Motormouth Aaron Morris is up next. Oh, look at that lovely wheelie, really, just out. Really nice acceleration on the side of the tyre. Look really good out of there. This could be our fast one here. Lovely drive out using all of the track into the tight section. This is where you could easily lose time. Gets turned. But got through there really quick. Yeah. Very good. This is the best I've seen Aaron in the Ultimate Rider so far. Well done. That was nice. No that was really nice. I like that. Impressive. I had a ball out there. It's uh, so much fun doing this track. It's, it's actually pretty physical, a little bit more than I thought. Road racer and old man of the group, Ben Henry, is next to tackle the Gymkhana. He wants that 20 grand for his race team, no doubt. I'm not really overly thinking about the money right away. I'm just more focusing on each different event and uh, having a go at it and putting my best foot forward. Nice big road racing line up the top there. This is the section he's going to be a bit vulnerable in. And as we expected, a nice oh. big run too wide, wide, too wide. Yeah. So you can see with Ben that he's road raced mainly, and this tight bike control manoeuvring is very, very difficult for him. Wild child Jake Ralph heads to the track. A bit nervous, actually. Why? And he rode one of these once. He's missed the turn. What was he thinking? Oh, 
It's just part of this. You idiot. Want to be the ultimate rider? Well, up for grabs is the all-new twin-cylinder Honda CBR500R, providing the big sports bike experience. It's all thanks to Ensure My Ride and the guys from Honda Motorcycles. The CBR500R will give anyone looking for their first sports bike an exhilarating ride. Features include an all-new 500cc liquid-cooled parallel twin dock engine for a powerful and economical ride crisp throttle response and a full onboard instrumentation display. All of this on a sports bike that is LAMS approved and ready for first time riders. And the Ultimate Rider merchandise pack will keep our lucky winner looking good with Alpine Stars adding a leather riding jacket plus the latest design Corsa helmet from Bell Helmets will keep you safe. Together with 12 months comprehensive insurance from Insure My Ride, our winner will ride away with over $10,000 worth of prizes. To enter, head to the website. Good luck. Oh, hello, Jackie! Oh, no, he's not, he's just missed the turn! What was he thinking? Oh, he needs to put down, he stored it! Oh! He's just blind to this. Oh! What a shame. Oh, what a shame. I'm devastated because, you know, we were so excited about this. Wild child Jake Ralph's Gymkhana run has seen him stall the bike and incur a foot fault. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Can he pull it together to complete the course? Watch it. Oh! No! <laughs> oh, no. I just want to grab him it's and shaking. say you've got the ability. Think about it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Stuffed up that corner three times. Not a good run at all. Not happy at all. Be right at the bottom, for sure. Stored it, put my foot down, hit, I think I hit a cut, I don't know. Just had a shocking run, not happy at all. It is good competition, but he's too, they lose. You've just got to control your head and hopefully that dirt pulls you through to the finals because yeah. you've got a lot of talent, you've just got to control it. We love you. I love you too, mate. <laughs> Ready to give it a red hot go? Ready to go. And after Braden's crash, he's got no points, so just got to keep it upright and do the best that I can. Three, two, one. Sophie is the last to tackle the Jim Carner. Sophie had an emotional week last week, riding the 450 and the hot laps on the dirt. I wonder if she'll still be a little bit nervous because it's a 450. Come on, girl. Yeah. She needs to get those eyes up, up Daz, yeah. and get it rolling. Yeah, up, yeah, I'm up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Foot down. Ah, oh, no. Back in, back in. Come on, Sophie. Oh, oh, oh no. Off the track. Back this on. Is, this is difficult. This is very difficult. She needed to really get some points here. It'd be interesting to see where the penalties go for everyone and where that puts Sophie. I think that challenge proved a lot tougher for some of you than you anticipated. Braden, when you arrived on your first lap in that Gymkhana, wowee, super impressive. Right now, you must be massively disappointed. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very disappointed at the moment. Uh, probably a little bit out of my comfort zone and you know, paid the price for it, made the mistakes. On the knee. Oh! Oh, big one. Big crash. Big crash. Jakey Ralph, every time we see you on a dirt bike, it's exciting, to say the least. 
but mate, you've got to rein it in. Too many mistakes today. Yeah, I'm not very happy with today's results, obviously. My head was still back at the stall. Just missed the turn! What was he thinking? He's just blowing this. I'm sure that you're wondering whether we're going to be sending one of you home tonight. Brayden, how nervous are you right now? Yeah, I'm fairly nervous at the moment. Actually, I, um, yeah, I could have blown it today, so fingers crossed that there's no eliminations today. Well, I'm sorry to say that today is not an elimination. Why are you sorry to say it then? <laughs> Brayden, you're still in the comp. No points. New challenge, new day. I'll see what I can do. The rider today, who was very fast, very smooth and consistent, scores six points. Those six points go to you, Aaron. Well done. Thanks a lot. You now lead the ultimate rider with 14 points. Awesome. Aaron is back in the lead after picking up six points in the Gymkhana. Braden's crash has handed him a DNF, leaving his score unchanged from last week. And Sophie remains at the bottom, receiving only two points. I did think I was going there. I could feel myself getting hot and uh, yeah, I'm very relieved now. Oh, he's a nice kid. I don't want him out and I'm glad he didn't go home today. Yeah, it feels really good to be back on top of the leaderboard. You know, I'm stoked that it's a good, good points game today, so I'm stoked.